So Khalif, okay, what, so you have, we'll rephrase your, your goal. You have one, maybe two buying, you said two buy and hold deals yep, this year, sure. right? All right. And um, what, what other goal? And then for, you want to hit 10,000 members in your Facebook group? Yep. Is yep. that right? Okay. As well as, uh, you know, to, to consistently average two to three deals over the course of this this next fiscal year. Most definitely. I so they're all doable, um, all achievable. Yes. Just with consistency. And I, I think the next step is to your point, man, just setting those intentions and putting them out in the universe. You know, we're here yep. on video and it's archived. So there's some accountability there. Most definitely. I think we all want to circle back around and watch that video and make sure we smash it. <laughs> we're going to smash those goals. Okay. We're not just going to hit them. We're going to smash them. All right. So one big goal that I have for, for, for me that I'm putting in here is I want to help 25 people get their first deal with me JVing with them. Okay. The only reason I add that caveat is because that's the only way I can measure it. Okay. With 25 deals, that puts me at, at two to three deals per month right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so that's two deals per month with one month doing three deals. All right. Um, and going from there, um, I have, I want to do a creative deal, a creative wholesale deal. And I also want to do a creative deal a buy and hold for myself. Okay. Uh, for social media handles, we want to hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Okay. So anybody who is watching this on YouTube, whether you're watching this now or you're watching the replay, we want to hit a thousand subscribers. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, everything, the bell notification. And by the end of the year. Okay. For my Facebook group, so right now we're sitting at about 2,300. I definitely like to hit 5,000, okay? I think that's hugely doable by the end of the year, okay? Um, and I have a, let's see here. Uh, I'm building my SOPs for my cold calling. I'm building, um, you know, so that I can, uh, if I do those two to three deals, I can bring on two to three VAs and that will take a lot of the workload off myself. Okay. My goal with this is not only to do the systems, record the systems so that it eventually I can help out as many people as I can put it out there. And then possibly within the next, the year after, um, build up a course. And, and obviously the course will be a test course, things like that. I'm not, oh, I'm not sitting here saying- Randy, oh, we gonna get you, man. We gonna get you rocking and rolling, bro. You, you yep. see, so there's this concept called one, one chapter ahead, right? Yep. Have you ever heard of it? I have not, but I've heard of the concept. Yeah, so, so, so with the one chapter ahead or one step ahead, a lot of times all you have to do is be one step ahead. And, 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 and the reality, man, is with, with your channel and what you've been doing, you've already been coaching and, and you already have a course of sorts. Yep. You know, and it's just putting it all together with more intention. And you have the credibility to do it. You know, yeah, and so it's there's no reason to it's no reason to to delay it, you know, um, yeah, because because you're by putting it together, what you're doing is truly helping people. So yep. doing those twenty five JVs, it's gonna require them to to consume some information. It's gonna require your right. time. You know what I'm saying? And so yep. it's just it's and and there's a reason why I do the, the way the things the way I do. And the reason why I do that is because I'm methodical. I want to make sure that the people, whoever buys the course, and by all means, it's not going to be outrageously expensive. Um, but whoever buys the course, they get the value out of it. Okay. 
And um, so right now I'm doing everything that I would do in that course. I'm doing it for free on my content, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, everything that I would do in the course, I'm doing it here for free on my content, with all my content, on my YouTube channel, everything. So I'm building up all these systems to eventually get to that point. So um, now Larry Shepard said, I just push in this out there for him. Uh, my goal is to go from six to 10 doors and uh, at, at two deals using hard money lending to burring. Okay. Haven't used hard money yet, lending yet. Larry, if you haven't used hard money, let hard money lending, um, I interviewed a gentleman by the name of Yoav Gilead with Greenblock um, Incorporated or Lending. I can't remember. Um, but go back to Larry. You can watch him. But he's a great resource. He's a hard money lender. Um, he does both products by using short term hard money loans as well as long term as well. So keep that in mind. And he said the only requ the main requirement is it is it has to be an entity, not your own personal name. Okay. So check him out. Hopefully, I gave you some value there. Um, but that goal is here, so you can look back at that in at the in December of 2023 and see if you hit that goal. So um, you know, I definitely think that it is something worth out you know with the steps and process that i'm doing i could if i was doing this full time i could reach this a lot faster like you said gerald but because i work a full-time job and i have a wife i have to take care of so <laughs> i i have to minimize like some the, the allocation of my time and well, i get uh, i get the world of it yeah, yeah. yeah. yep so, I, I'm just saying, I just so want you to know, just in case you, 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 you doubted it, that what yeah. you're saying is very much doable. You know what I'm yep. saying? You're on the right track. You're already covering a lot of the bases, yep. you know, and I'm just making sure that you're aware of that, brother. But you're right on, you're right on, right on track. I appreciate it. So, um, so with that, we had, so also video calling with people, okay? So that's one of my goals as, as well is when we do a video call with people, we're going to come on here. Now we're going to do it similar to like this here. Um, the only difference we're not going to go live is we're just going to be recording the call. Okay. So if anybody else wants to know what the format will look like, it'll look just like this. Um, and, and we'll be able to talk through it uh, as long as we need to and kind of go from there. If for some reason uh, you do want to hop on a call uh, and, and do this recording, hit me up. My number is right, right here, okay? As well as my email. I'll have this scrolling, okay? Is right here at the bottom. Randy buys houses mi at gmail.com, okay? Um, so by all means, and then. If you want to get a hold of any one of these gentlemen that are here, okay, Khalif has his number right there. So you can check him out. You want to spit out your email? I uh, threw it in the chat real quick. Um, Khalif right. buys homes at Gmail. Okay. Um, and that'll get me uh, each and every time. Okay. Um, you know, for similar to Randy, I, I mean, to his point, I guess to tie it all together, I started my group uh, with the intention to step outside of my network because I felt like I was really, uh, I came from the, the the tutelage of there's not enough room to JV. Yeah. So I started my group to kind of test the waters and get outside of my network. And Randy was one of the first people um, I JV'd with. Um, I mean, even from our, our very first deal together, yeah. <laughs> um, it's like you kind of think you've seen it all. And that one was interesting and had layers. But I mean, me and him have had several since then. And yep, they've gotten even more complicated. But um, 
I learned the concept. I kind of got tricked into starting my Facebook group is I got pitched on real estate on Facebook and I'm all, you know, I'm real estate. I'm like, I'm down to hear it. And it was yep. a presentation to start a Facebook group. And I'm like, well, I mean, I, I know the amount of users that Facebook had and you know how they posed to have a piece of digital real estate. If you know, you stay in compliance and you don't do anything crazy, you know, me, we went, you know, for our first year from literally zero to 5,000 people, um, all organic, no money put behind it. So, right. Um, it's really powerful, you know, to work it, you know, and Randy even took it a step further from me now with consistently going live, you know, he's engaging with his community and stepping out on Facebook, uh, or yep. excuse me, YouTube, and you're reaching, you know, even outside of your sphere of influence and just like you said this stuff is going to age it's going to be sitting there forever to keep you know creating that front end of your funnel for whatever you decide to do down the line so it's i commend you man you 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 listen because i mean man you have those conversations we suggest yes. it to people all the time but it's not easy but it's definitely worth it once you get it started most definitely and that's the key is and it's funny because every single one of those deals that something went wrong we've both learned something from there. Now, guess what we do? We ask those questions early on so we know <laughs> yep. that those things don't come up Yep. and things go faster, you know, or we have to pivot faster. That's just how it goes. Okay. So, you know, in my opinion, that's, you know, doing that is going to be exactly what we do and going forward you know we're going to learn from our mistakes we're going to pivot a lot faster in this market we have to look at what happened from march to right now in this market okay the things i was selling in march i could not sell. i cannot sell at those same prices right now okay because of the interest rates well, guess what? The interest rates are not going to dr dramat dramatically come down by summertime. No, they're going to either stay steady or go up. That's just how it's going to be. Okay. And um, right now they're only steadily going up and I think they're going to stay stable throughout the rest of the year, maybe going up a little bit here and there. But I think w once, um, and this is just my opinion from what I'm reading from the Fed and, and all these reports. I really think that we're going to be uh, first to second quarter of 2024 is when we're going to start coming down. There's a chance the last quarter, quarter four of 2023, but I really think it's going to be first to second quarter of 2024 that the rates are going to start coming down. So I actually I don't I don't think rates are going to come down at all uh, because I feel like they need to be where they are. Mm -hmm. And we we forget that rates used to be at 12 and 16 percent at one time. Yes. You know, and they went as low as they did because of what was going on with the housing market in 2008 yep. and a number of different things. And so, you know, what we experience as, you know, common rates is not, you know, mm -hmm. I expect them to be somewhere around six, seven, eight percent ongoingly. And I think what needs to happen is our our wages need to come up to yes. support that um yep. and so that's that's the change that i want to see but right now is the best time to buy real estate as ever and the more knowledgeable you are about the different strategies that exist and and what to do as the market shifts you'll be in a, a better and more competitive position to take advantage of what's going on so definitely keep tapping in you know, yep. Randy, Randy's bringing it to you, man. <laughs> and it, it brings me to, for Gerald, you know, it looks like he has his number right at the bottom of his name. Go ahead and get a hold of him. I put in the chat his email address as well. Okay, so if you want to email him, um, and if you're, say, a private money lender and you want to get into his syndication or, or anything like that, um, contact him. I it's not me endorsing it. I'm just 
let, let's all come together. I don't know enough about the, about it to endorse it, so I can't I can't say that. Um, but definitely, you know, me and Gerald will have some conversations about that. I will say that. So, <laughs> so um, you know, with that, like, you know, I think that is pretty much it for my goals for what I have, and I think the biggest thing for me is that I can help those 25 people get those first deals. Okay. Um, I can help, I, uh, you know, anybody out there get a deal, JV with them, so on and so forth, get hit that two to three deals per month. Um, and, and go from there. So if I'm building these SOPs, I'm building these systems and processes and, and, and so on and so forth, we can kind of go forward.